Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of Jump Chat. Today we have with us Chris Brown. Chris Brown here. I'm a jumper and jump rope fan and also currently serving as the president of AMJRF and also as a technical committee member for IGRU. Thanks for having me. Hi, Chris. Thanks for joining us today. Our first question for you is what has been your favorite nationals experience so far? I would say so far it was the year that I did a pairs routine with Mike Fry. Uh, there was already, you know, us being able to just create and see what we could come up with, which is always my favorite part of competing. Um, but then also had the opportunity to potentially qualify um, to be part of the tryout process for the U.S. All-Star team. So this was um, through USA Jump Rope. Uh, but going into that competition, I needed to get either a gold medal in a freestyle event or go onto the stage. So qualify in the top 12 athletes, I think it was. Um, so on our prelims day or age divisions day, we had several mistakes in a routine and they were all me. So I was really concerned that we were not going to make it through, but thankfully, I guess we did enough. And, uh, the best part of it was, yeah, getting to compete on the stage at Disney and the beauty and the beast theater, um, and then getting the opportunity to try out and eventually make the U S all-star team, which opened up just a bunch of opportunities to travel and teach and, you know, jump around the U.S. Thanks, Chris, for sharing that. That was awesome. The next question we have for you today is what has the transition been like going from a jump rope athlete to taking on more leadership roles within AMJRF? I would say it's been a bit of an extended process, uh, and it really just started out for me wanting to help out however I could. And so I think, you know, for each jump rope athlete, they have a very specialized and unique skill set, which is really valuable. And so for me, I started out just teaching, helping out at, you know, our weeknight classes that we had for people that were interested in just starting to jump, um, moving up to starting to judge. I think, you know, most of us have probably clicked speed at practices or counting other athletes. And so uh, oftentimes, you know, you have the potential to be some of the best judges because you had so much practice at it. So started out there and then, you know, did a bit of freestyle judging as well. But, you know, as I was noticing at competitions that we maybe weren't always getting the accurate score and speed. And to me, it's like, there is an objective accurate score and I know how hard athletes train. So let's make sure we get that. And so then it kind of morphed into uh, looking into the rules a bit more um, and then, you know, kind of developing a video replay system that's controlled kind of organizationally. Because I think going into a competition, we should make sure that you're getting the right score, you know, kind of thing. And so I think with video, you can do that and go back and recount it. Um, we've seen that with IJRU um, this year. And, you know, doing a virtual competition has really kind of opened up doors to be able to have people compete around the world without having to travel. I think, you know, people probably have mixed feelings on that. I think the best part about jump rope is jumping in person. But um, yeah, also, you know, when I was in college, uh, there was a team nearby and so helped coach there, um, had been at camps for quite a bit. So helping on camp staffs and whatnot, um, you know, with knowing the rules, you know, it somehow transitioned into judging, helping with judging online, directing tournaments, um, being a competition committee chair, you know, just trying to make sure that we're putting on the best competitions and events that we can for people. And then, you know, eventually being the AMJRF president, just, I think for me, it was seeing different people in leadership. You know, I think anyone can, whether they've jumped or not, can do a good job leading if they're taking into perspective the athletes um, and the people that really make up the sport. Um, I do think we have a number of people um, in this organization that have that understanding just from being athletes. And so I think it's important that we have athletes in different leadership roles. And um, for me, it's always been, I think we can improve in this area. Here's how I think I can contribute. And it's kind of taken me from jumping, you know, to where I at, am at this point. And really it's just been going into different areas and gathering experience and just, I love the sport. So I'm gonna help out however I can. 
That's cool to hear about how you transitioned from being an athlete into the more leadership roles. So how would you recommend current athletes transitioning into those to stay more involved with the sport? So I think for me, it's, you know, if you see something that can be improved or it could be done, done better, you know, get involved uh, and also do something about it. Uh, that was kind of what brought me into it. Um, you know, I think from a starting point, do things like vote in your athlete advisory council elections, vote for the board, take those opportunities because, you know, the leadership that we have is going to determine the direction of our sport. And, you know, other people might try to do it for us, but we know our sport best. And I think, you know, we are the ones that can really take it forward if we want to. Um, also, you know, we have other national governing bodies out there in other sports that have paid kind of full-time staffs. So the only way that we can, you know, compete or, you know, do the best that we can along with that is having people involved, having people go to events, getting more people helping on a volunteer level, eventually getting us to the point where we can start paying people where hopefully we'll have roles for, you know, athletes or former athletes um, where we can pay for them to do jump rope. I would love to see that happen for uh, so many of us. Uh, yeah, for people that I think, you know, have the time and want to put towards that. I think how many of us would be like, if we could work all day on jump rope, how much would we be able, would we be able to accomplish kind of thing? So yeah, I think get involved, reach out. If you are interested, if you see things that can be improved, we can definitely use people and not just use, but we'd love to work with you. Thanks for sharing, Chris. I think all of us here at the Athlete Council would definitely love to be able to give our full day to Jump Rope. There's so much we could do and so much we want to do. So for those of you listening, if you are interested, feel free to just DM us and we can connect you to people to get you involved. Um, stay tuned as we continue this conversation next time with a few more questions about nationals.